How's it going guys, R Triple XC here, and uh, just a quick uh, little video, we're gonna do a little bit of a mail day that I got. I got some mail in uh, involving Bakugan stuff, and then I also uh, kinda wanted to talk about some of the new Bakugan news that I've just kinda not really made videos about or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna have a separate video for rule updates because the rule book just dropped yesterday, the new rule book. Um, that'll be a separate video at some point. Um, but, uh, we're going to talk about news and stuff after I go ahead and do this mail. So, um, I received this, I know what it is, and I want to, uh, open it for you guys, uh, to kind of show off my goodies. So, should be able to work with this. I have a note here. And, let's see. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, alright. This is some mail I am getting from my man, Kevin Keeler. So, uh, if you don't know, he is one of our, uh, Patreons, uh, one of our Titan. Yeah. One of our Titan Patreons on patreon.com. The dot com. That's, that sounded weird. Just Patreon. <laughs> um, so, uh, he sent us some stuff that I had asked for. Uh, it says, thank you for choosing Keeler's Collectibles for your Bakugan purchases. Your business means a lot to us and we truly appreciate it. If you have any needs, Please feel free to contact me directly. I have an expansive inventory list of uh, non-listed cards for the Bakugan Battle Planet game. Again, thank you for your purchase and enjoy your projects. So, uh, this is Kevin Keeler, guys. Uh, Y'all hit him up. He's on everything. Uh, he's got an email here. Uh, I guess a phone number if you want to call him. Um, and then uh, Keeler's Collectibles is his TCG player store. And Montekev is his eBay store. Um, you can also find him on Discord. And uh, he does a great job. Uh, he just bought a huge stock of Bakugan stuff. So... Um, if you are looking for, especially, I think, Wave 1 stuff, he can, he's kind of got you covered. Some of the rare stuff, I mean, I just cleared these guys out of his stock, but, um, and a big thank you. Thank you. I got Pax of Darkness and Dan Cuso. <laughs> Finally. Uh, we, probably well known now, thank you, Kev, um, that I do not have any of these. And I am happy to now own these bad boys right here. So Pact and Dan, kind of well-known, very good cards in the Bakugan TCG. Um, and now I have my copies of them. Uh, all Kevin had was these, these two, uh, and I took them. Uh, he, had, he gave me a very good deal on it. So thank you again, Kevin. Um, you give us a lot of support here on the channel, and I can't thank you enough. And, ooh, that was kind of cringy. Yeah, I don't want to do that again. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, got me some Dan Cuzos. Very good condition here. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm very happy with this purchase. So, all right. Um, yeah. So, y'all go check out Kevin. Check out his stores uh, on TCG Player and stuff like that. And if you don't know, you can go to TCG Player. And uh, there are Bakugan stuff on TCG Player now. So, um Go check that out. Uh, Kevin's got a great store. Um, and find what you guys need. Uh, I think it's starting to grow a little bit. Uh, so there's a lot of stock of some things. So you guys can build some decks without having to worry about finding packs out in the wild. Because we all know how difficult that is right now. So, man, Dan looks so cool. And the Bakugan Elite for the red is... Oof, it's so nice. So, Alright, thank you, Kev. Uh, appreciate it, man. Um, Alright, so we're going to move into talking about some news. Uh, but I'll probably head over to the computer for that. So uh, I'll see you there. Hey guys, we're back, and uh, we are on the computer now, so I'm going to start talking about some of the things that I might have, like, glossed over, or just uh, maybe mentioned on my Twitter, and definitely not the channel. Um, so, uh, we're going to look at the Bakulog real quick, because there are some updates to the Bakulog. Um, so, uh, let's uh, do that real quick. Um, so, um, basically, what they've done is added, like, new models and stuff, so... Um, they have like Cubbo, so we have an, like an HD uh, version of Cubbo. The most adorable of all the Bakugan, apparently. Also the most obnoxious. If you haven't watched the show, he's a very, uh, very raunchy boy. So, um, Cubbo is Hey Awesome partnered with Leah. She saw past his prickly temperament and recognized his potential. He prefers to avoid major battles, but once engaged, he uses unorthodox abilities to compensate for his size. So, uh, we are getting a cute little Cubbo. Um, he is, uh, well, the most uh, adorable of all the Bakugan. So, cool for us. 
Um, so here's Diamond Cubbo. If you haven't seen him yet, uh, it's kind of funny. He's got like black eyes, <laughs> and uh, its bottom is clear, but the top is uh, like solid white. Um, Kimbo uh, posted a video on that. Uh, he got that early, so go check out his video. Pretty cool. It shows it off really well. Um, another Bakugan that we haven't really, really seen yet is Phaedrus. Um, so uh, it's kind of like a Fangzor, but a little longer. Um, it's one of Lightning's Bakugan, which is pretty cool. Um, Phaedrus is a perfect balance to Lightning's other Bakugan, Halcor. Uh, in battle, she is highly intuitive and strategic. When she's deployed, Lightning rides into battle on her back. Uh, the two are perfectly compatible friends and share mutual respect for one another. So isn't that sweet? Um, so uh, we don't have a picture of Ultra Phaedrus. Well, we do actually have a picture of Ultra Phaedrus. Um, I'm going to find it and put it right there for you. Um, but yeah. So uh, let's scroll through here. Anything new or different? Alright, so we get a cool look at Ventus Lupithion here, which is oh, it's so nice. I want it so bad. Uh, if this is the color scheme it's coming with, I love it with the yellow claws. Um, I actually haven't seen this image yet, so this is actually new to me <laughs> making this video. So this looks really good, because <laughs> y'all know I like Ventus. Um, so this looks really cool. Uh, Lupithion is a Ventus wolf who fights with the tenacity and agility that one would expect from such a creature. Uh, when the moon is out, his strength increases, and he often becomes so wild that his partner, Winton, finds him difficult to manage. To compensate, Lupithion is a fiercely loyal and gentle Bakugan most of the time, feeling bad that his demeanor changes along with the light of the moon. Um, so he's a self-conscious werewolf. <laughs> I guess. Uh, so there's that. Uh, so Lupithion's dope. Um, ooh, a look at Pyrus Nilius. This just looks really nice. <laughs> Like, really nice. Uh, just the red on Nilius is so cool. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, this is Nobilius Ultra. Um, you've seen it on the channel a couple times. Uh, now, anyway. Uh, we have a couple different Phaedrus here. Uh, Darkus, Chaos, um, Ventus, of course. Uh, and, yeah, okay. So, uh, let's see. Uh, new here is Trino. So, the Triceratops Bakugan, uh, he doesn't have an About Me, it's coming soon, uh, but let's see if we can get a couple looks at him. Here's the Chaos one, the darkest one looks really, it's probably the best looking out of all of them, uh, and Trox, my boy. Um, new is Vice Rox, uh, Vice Rox, cool little crab guy, uh, let's see, the Pyrus one, the Chaos one, the uh, darkest Webam, which is really nice, Ventus Webam. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Vice Rocks. Uh, we have Ultra version 2 here. Uh, I love, I love the character art on Vice Rocks Ultra. Viserox, Vice Rocks, whatever. It's, it's Vices. It, it's Vices. So, Vice Rocks. Um, oh, I love this description. A thug with a heart of gold. <laughs> Vice Rocks is surprisingly nimble and agile. A gift to Shun. It took a while for them to develop an understanding of how best to work together, but when Shun calls on Vicerox, they both benefit from the balance between Vicerox's tenacity and Shun's more thoughtful brawling style. He likes to use his bubble net to capture and freeze his opponents. So bubble net um, is one of his abilities on the show, um, but it's also uh, an ability card that we have. So um, these look really good. Uh, he's a really, uh, really cool Bakugan. I don't have the core yet, but I, I really like the core's design. I, I want to get my hands on one. Um, definitely new here is a picture of Zentor. Uh, we don't have any other factions for him just yet. Uh, but he has, like, the mold of Cyndius, uh, core. But it's, like, more spread back here. So he, like, he stands up like a Zentor. So I think it's really cool. Uh, his head sculpt is really dope. Um, it doesn't match, like, what's going on on his helmet up here. But... You know, they did what they could do. <laughs> so, uh, they do have text here, crazy enough. A master of illusion and old, wor old wor world hmm, magic. <clears throat> Zentor's strategy often starts with baffling his opponents using his nightmare illusion. Is that a card? I can't think of it right now. Before striking them physically. Zentor's unwavering confidence can also be his weakness. When his initial efforts do not prove effective, he struggles to respond strategically. So, strategically. Hmm. I can't talk. Why? Why? Why I can't talk? <laughs> uh, 
Um, <laughs> strategically. Thank you. Um, so, cool. Uh, there's another Bakugan I wanted to show you guys that I saw a second ago. Uh, there we go. Pandox Ultra. I, okay, so he's got this weird thing. He's basically Dragonoid Ultra's sculpt um, with a panda head on it. And, like, he has a tail and everything just like Dragonoid. But he just looks so cool. And I love the art on him. He just looks really angry. Um, often sleepy and hungry, so I resonate with this Bakugan. Okay? <laughs> um, so, uh, he's got, like, this, this big flap on his back, which kind of counteracts his weight going forward because he's very uh, very beefy boy. Um, but I think he looks really cool. So, we actually have text for this one, too. Often sleepy and hungry. Again, I resonate with that deeply. Uh, sometimes in the midst of battle, Chaos Pandox looks for any opportunity to take the easy way out. But if he's well fed and in the right mood, he fights like a sumo wrestler with unwavering commitment. Uh, Colonel Trip, who controls Pandox, is often frustrated with Pandox's generally low energy, but knows that once Pandox starts brawling, he's a steadfast warrior. So, very cool. Uh, Trip is kind of a, you know, a jerk in the show. So, um, and he kind of like controls Pandox like with like this thing that you know it's like it's not nice <laughs> I don't know how to say it but uh yeah so Pandox is cool um I think that's really it from the Baku log that is actually on here there are some hidden ones that you can find like Scorporos uh, uh yeah so um actually I'm gonna find those guys real quick and I'll be right back all right, back and I found it. Uh, it's actually on the Bakugan Wiki's Twitter. Um, or well, it's it's a lot. It's a bunch of places now, but uh, I went and found it there. Uh, so this is Scorporos Core. Core. What? Why can't I talk today? Someone help! <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Scorporos Core. Um, this is the darkest version. Uh, I think he looks kind of cool. His, his face. I don't know if these are supposed to be his eyes right here, or if, like, these are supposed to be his eyes, but these just make him look kind of derpy, in my opinion. Whatever. Um, but this is the core version of Scorporos. I think we have... Here's a Diamond Hydronoid, which is very nice. Oh, here we go. So, Core Hydronoid. This is the only sculpt we have of this at the moment. It's the Diamond one, so you can't really see it uh, like, you, you know, we kind of want to right now. Um, but it's basically Tertonium's base with a nub... And then Nilius, but more Nilius. Okay, so um, it's kind of cool to see that they're like taking cues from other Bakugan but changing them around. I like that. I think that's resourceful and a good idea. I think it's cool. Um, but this, uh, arguably, in my opinion, looks better than the Ultra um, because I, I, I really like Nilius and this just gives me Nilius vibes, so it's probably that. But uh, I think this one looks really cool, really dope. So. Um, a picture of Pyravian there. Did they release any more pictures? Uh, did they? No. So we got Pandox, Diamond Pegatrix Ultra, but somebody found today, so on Reddit. Um, yeah, so, uh, that's the Bakugan Wiki's Twitter. Let's, uh, move on to something else. Alright guys, and uh, next big hitting uh, thing of news is Dragonoid Maximus is actually starting to pop up around the globe. Um, I think Australia actually got the first hit of it. So, um, if you don't know what Dragonoid Maximus is, if you look on the screen here, you're going to get this giant figure, which is a toy. It's really cool. It lights up and makes noises and stuff. Uh, you can actually, like, collapse it down into this thing. And then you're going to receive a Bakugan that we'll talk about here in a second to place on here, and then he blows up and turns into, you know, this thing. So... Dragon Maximus, cool, it's a big toy. What the interesting thing is, is that it's going to come with this, which is, we've talked about it before on the channel here, I think. This is Titan Dragonoid Core. So, um, what this is doing is giving, dra so now there's going to be, there's going to be four Dragonoid models, but three different playable Dragonoids. So now we have... Core Dragonoid, which is the one that evolves into Titan Dragonoid, the evolution card. There's Ultra Dragonoid, which is the core Ultra, so there's an Ultra Dragonoid. There is a Hyper Dragonoid, which is partnered with Core Dragonoid, so we have our Ultra Dragonoid, so we have Core Dragonoid, Ultra Dragonoid, Hyper Dragonoid, which are the same thing, and now we're going to have 
Titan Dragonoid, which I'm assuming is a core. So this is Core Dragonoid. Core Titan Dragonoid. Now, Core Dragonoid evolves into a Titan Dragonoid that is an evolution card. This is a Titan Dragonoid that is a character card. <laughs> Alright? So, that's the best explanation I can give you. Alright? We have four Dragonoids, three playable. Um, and this right here is Titan Dragonoid. So, um, it's really cool sculpt. Uh, they, they have, like, wings and stuff. It's going to open kind of like um, uh, Gortheon Core. If you don't have that yet, check out. Uh, we have some videos. I have an opening video of it. Go check it out. Uh, or you can check out the uh, stream we just, our live stream we just did yesterday. Uh, we kind of messed around with playing with what this guy's going to turn into. I'll show you here in a second. Um, the horn is automatic. The head's automatic. The actual whole figure is automatic. Everything pops out just like, you know, the core Bakugan that we've been getting. Um, but the arms are sculpted in and they stay there. So uh, there's that. So let's talk about what this thing actually is. All right. So. Uh, if you go to my Twitter, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and give us a subscription. Last time I did one of these videos, I think I was like a lot less than this. So thank you guys for following me on Twitter. I post a lot here. Uh, I retweet important stuff. I talk to other people. Uh, I'll always comment on YouTuber stuff or uh, people can talk to me there. It's uh, it's where I try to contact you guys more. So um, let's see. Uh, go check out Feng Shaman. He just got his Matrix Men in. It's pretty dope. Anyway. Uh, this was our live stream the other day. You can go check this video out here. And uh, we tested out whether or not this is any good. So, this is Titan Dragonoid Core Character Card. Alright, Titan Dragonoid, the character card. <laughs> Some of you, that might be uh, hard to understand. Anyway, so we have a regular shield and a green fist. We have 700B, which is not bad at all, like whatsoever. And then uh, three attack, which can be helped with Pyrus a lot. So, um, just as a normal Pyrus Bakugan, this thing is decent enough. Like, I, I, you know, if somebody said, oh, I'm just playing this because I need a Pyrus, I would understand. Um, core wise, doesn't really match up with too many things. It gives, you know, it's got green fists, so sticking maybe with Pegatrix or something if you want Pyrus, but I'm definitely sure there's better options than that. Uh, I can't think of them right now. I don't really play Pegatrix, but. Um, so, this thing is going to turn into, are you ready, dun, 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 this, <laughs> Maximus Dragonoid. Um, first of all, I, I'm a big art guy, like, uh, I, I love card art and stuff like that. This thing is gorgeous. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's gorgeous, okay? I love it. Very, very nice. Um, it's a 10 cost, uh, two, uh, 2500B. <laughs> and 10 attack um, and that's not even the kicker the kicker is that if you control Dan Winton and Leah you win the game so yes your thinking is absolutely correct this is hashtag Bakuzodia <laughs> Exodia for Bakugan alright I said that because we did that in the stream yesterday um, so, uh, get, uh, hashtag Bakuzodia down in the, uh, comments for me if you want. Um, so, yeah, if you got Dan out, Winton out, and Leah, and this thing comes out, you automatically win the game. Uh, you don't necessarily, you don't have to open with it to activate the effect. It's just Exodia. As soon as it happens, it happens, it's done. So, uh, another win condition for this game. So now you can attack your opponent, knock them out, uh, and take out all of their health down past zero or however you want to call that um, and you can also uh, obliterate them with Dragonoid Maximus um, so uh, yeah this thing this thing's crazy uh, we tested it out uh, about three games with it in a live stream yesterday if you want to go check that video out uh, it's kind of long just skip around figure out where we uh, you know find where we like put the cores down then start there that's a battle okay um, yeah and there's also a deck list on that video so go check that out uh, yeah, so if I forgot anything, guys, this is just kind of a little news update video. I was just kind of bored hanging out today. I wanted to throw something together. Um, uh, thank you to Kevin Keeler again for uh, giving us those cards. Oh, he didn't give them to I bought them. <laughs> for giving us a good deal on those cards, anyway. It was very nice of him. 
uh, and all the support that he gives us and uh, all the Patreons. Uh, not many, but they're there and they're very nice. So if you want to check us out on Patreon, guys, uh, check out the link in the description. Uh, I'll post deck lists there. Uh, I'm going to start posting videos early there, maybe like vlogs and stuff like that. Just little fun things uh, that can keep you guys entertained and, and only you guys who are my Patreons. So. Uh, thank you to everyone watching the video. If you haven't checked out uh, my Twitter yet, go follow me on Twitter. Patreon again, uh, Matrix Mats, link down in the description, guys. Uh, those things are really taking off. We're selling a lot of them, and I, uh, it's nice. <laughs> Every time I see people posting pictures of them playing, I see them on a Matrix Mat. I'm like, oh, we did that. <laughs> so it's really nice to see, uh, and I'm glad you guys are liking them. I think they come out really high quality, especially if you use Inked Gaming. Um, uh, that's my recommendation, not only because I am an affiliate, because that's who I use to make my mats anyway. Uh, I did that for my Pokemon mats and stuff before when I was playing Pokemon. So, um, use code ARCHERBLEXC10 and get 10% off that order, and you, you'll be you'll be good. 10% off. It's nice. So, thank you guys for watching. Like the video. Share it around for me. Sharing is caring, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, bye.